When the time comes for you to start looking for your very first actuarial job or whenever you decide to start your dream 10 list, well, there is one thing that you absolutely 1000% need to take into consideration and that is the company's actuarial development program. Now, an actuarial development program is basically a way for different companies to attract the best candidates or the top candidates to their organization. If they have a better program than another company, then you, the top candidate, is more likely to choose their company, at least that's the idea behind it. So in this video, you are going to learn all about what actuarial development programs are and the seven amazing and surprising perks that come with being a part of one. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so that they can get their actuarial dream job as quickly as possible. Now let's get into this video. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so in an insurance company, everyone that has not passed all the actuarial exams are considered to be students. So that's why sometimes these actuary development programs are also referred to as actuarial student programs. So the purpose of these programs is essentially to attract the best candidates or the top candidates to that organization. They want to have this great actuarial development program so that students know that they can come there and actually develop their career even further, get help and support that they might not get otherwise. You can kind of think about it and this is really a weird analogy, but you can think of it like a peacock. So a male peacock will actually spread its huge feathers and as I was recording this video I actually remembered that I had a beautiful painting that I did of a peacock Yes, see that? It's amazing, I know, I'm an artist. <laughs> anyway, so these peacocks will spread their big feathers in order to attract a mate. Well, in this analogy, you can kind of think of the peacock as being, the male peacock as being the insurance company. They want to spread their big feathers or really supply an actuarial development program to attract you. They want to attract the best candidates out there. So you, in this analogy, are kind of like the mate for the peacock. So yes, I know, odd analogy, but anyway, we're gonna move on from that. Now, let's talk about some of the benefits that you can expect when you go into an actuarial student program. Now there are an endless amount of different benefits that could be included but there are really seven typical benefits that you will get from an actuarial student program and these are things you definitely want to ask about during an interview. So we're going to go through all seven of those and they're in no particular order so let's get started. Number one is that you get paid study materials. Now this is one that's fairly common for all actuarial student programs. You'll get your study materials paid for. That means anything that you need in order to pass the exam, you'll get it paid for by the company that you are working for. Occasionally there is a cap on how much you could spend, but most of the time there isn't. And this is really beneficial because study materials can actually be quite expensive, especially as you get into the later actuarial exams. Now the second thing that is a benefit of these programs is getting your actuarial exams paid for. Now again, as the exams advance and get more difficult, higher level exams, they get much more expensive. There are some exams that cost over $1,000 and that is an expense that you probably don't want to pay, especially if you end up failing, which I have some experience with. Anyway, so some companies will pay for all of your attempts at a certain exam. So if you end up failing an exam the first two times, they'll still pay for those and then they'll pay for the time where you passed it on the third attempt, for example. Um, other companies have a bit of a different structure where maybe they'll pay for only the first time you take the exam and if you fail it, you'll have to pay the cost of the second or third attempt on your own. Some companies have a method where they pay for the first attempt and they pay for the attempt where you actually pass. So if you end up failing on the first attempt, they'll pay for that. If you end up failing on the second attempt, they wouldn't pay for that. But if you end up passing on the third attempt, they would pay for that. So there's different structures and you really would want to ask about that when you go to potentially start working for a company. Now, another perk that you would get is probably study time. Studying for actuarial exams takes a lot of time. So it's really nice to have an insurance company actually give you time off and pay you for it in order to fit some studying in. Now, most of the time, the amount of paid study time that you get isn't going to be enough to prepare for the exam entirely. It's actually usually just a very small portion of the amount of time that you will need in total, but it is really nice of the insurance company to offer that as a perk or a benefit just to help you a little bit more in your studying. Now, the fourth benefit that you might find in actuarial student programs is that you get a lot of mentorship or career development opportunities. So one thing that happened quite often where I was working 
working was that we had the opportunity to do presentations for other members of the actuarial team. And I absolutely hated doing the presentations, but I know overall that it was actually really good for my career development. So a student program might offer these kind of benefits. You might also be able to get into some sort of mentoring relationship. So some companies that members of the actuary accelerator community have gotten into were able to connect with another manager that was outside of their team. So it wasn't their direct manager, but they would go to a manager of a different actuarial team and that manager would sort of act as a mentor to the entry level actuary that was just getting into the career. And that's so beneficial to just have someone there that you know you can go to to ask questions and advice. Really that's why I started the AAC, but it's really nice for those actuaries that have started working to also be able to continue that mentorship throughout their actuarial career in a company. Now the fifth benefit that you will find in actuarial student programs is that you get bonuses and raises for passing exams. Actuarial companies really want you to pass exams typically. So in order to help incentivize and motivate you, they will often offer you bonuses and raises when you pass an exam. Now that means that maybe when you pass an exam, you'll get an initial bonus, but your salary will stay the same. In other companies, you might actually get a permanent salary increase whenever you pass an exam. And that's awesome because it means when you're passing a lot of exams, exams early on in your actuarial career, you're going to be quickly moving up your salary at the same time. By the way, if this video has been helpful for you so far, could you please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also so that it can spread to more future actuaries that want to know these perks and benefits. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's move on to number six and that is a rotation program. Now let me explain this one and I love this part of my actuarial student program. Essentially, there are many different departments where actuaries work in an insurance company, typically anyway. So a rotation program actually allows you to move from one position in one department to another position in another department. So maybe every two to three years, you'll actually be rotating to a different department of the insurance company. And this is so, so, so interesting because one of the best things about this is that you you get a new perspective of the insurance company. You get to learn a whole bunch of new things and how different things work in different departments of the company. And I love that because it allows you the opportunity to see different areas of the company without actually having to leave the company and go to another one in order to kind of get something new, get a new position, open up your mind, that sort of thing. You can do it all within one company. So for me, when I was in my actuarial position, I went from a reserving position into a pricing area and that gave me a totally new perspective on some of the different work that actuaries do and also some of the different functions that go on in different parts of an insurance company. In later years, if I had stayed with the company, I might have been able to go maybe into the investments department or the actuarial annuities department. Those sort of areas are all separate, but they're all doing actuarial work and it's really interesting to be able to get to see those different parts of the insurance company. Now the seventh benefit is the social interactions. Now, a lot of the time insurance companies really want their actuarial team to know each other to work really well as a team. So they'll offer different opportunities for you to go out and socialize and team build with your team. When I was working in my actuarial role, some of the things we did was to go to an escape room. We also went bowling one time and I know we did some other things. I think we went out for dinner a few times like that and the insurance company paid for it as part of our actuarial student program. So these are just fun things to do, get outside of work during work hours sometimes and just be able to connect with your team and get to know them a little better. So ultimately you're able to work better together. Okay, so those are the seven benefits that I often see in actuarial development programs. And the cool thing is that if you are an intern, you sometimes get these benefits as well. Typically you won't get all of them, but you might get something like maybe your study materials paid for if you're planning to take an exam during the time that you're interning with the company. You might even get your exam fees paid for. Maybe you'll get a bit of paid study time. You never know. So that's something you should also ask about when you go to interview for internships is whether you have have any benefits in the actuarial student program or the development program at the company. Okay, so now down below in the comments, let me know which of these seven benefits is the most enticing for you. I will put them all on the screen now so you can quickly let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear which is your favorite. Many of you know that I worked in an actuarial position before as well. And for me, the raises and the bonuses when you pass an exam was my favorite benefit because it really did keep me motivated to keep going. Without that reminder in my head that I was going to actually get a salary increase when I pass the exams, it would really make it hard to stay motivated and keep on track with studying. So I loved that benefit. Now, if you want to know more about the salary I made as an actuary, make sure you go check out this video right here. I will leave a link to it down below in the description as well, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!